Good morning, folks. This is the Enlil Spiral, named for the Sumerian god of wind and earth and storms. It's a key piece of today's news and contains a key piece of news coming up this week. We'll go over all of this, starting at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star with an eruption on the south. The largest active region decided not to wait for much peripheral sunspot development, gave it a run all by himself. It produced a C7 solar flare, minor ionizations of the upper atmosphere, but the big story is the CME that erupted with it, the coronal mass ejection, which you should see rippling through the sun's atmosphere after the eruption. The coronagraphs clearly show a halo eruption. Expansion on all sides here confirms the blast is heading at Earth. And normally, we would look at the C7 flare rating and CME characteristics and guess that it would spark a minor geomagnetic storm when it impacted tomorrow night, KP5. However, the CME is not coming alone. Stripped of CMEs on the Enlil Spiral, we see the magnetic sectors of the solar wind, and the one due up next for Earth is apparently a dense one. The first powerhouse coronal hole stream of the solar cycle. Perfect timing, eh? A one-two punch, going from a climb out of sunspot minimum to a coronal hole and CME back to back. If we get that double tap, and the CME is south pointing magnetic angle, we could see strong storms in the KP7 or 8 range. Even then, this is not an end scenario. Meteorological effects are likely, along with increases in electrical fires and large system glitches like an airline systems, PlayStation network, communications, or rail networks. Going to be a fun week. We're mostly going to stick with the sun, and sadly it won't get any better by the end, but first, bear with the views of the vehicles in space viewing our celestial vizier. Video and description of how satellites work together is linked below. Up next, folks, that situation in Madagascar is getting horrifying. Years with no rain. Children literally dying in droves by the day. Parents becoming numb to the death of their own families. The world already ended here. And I'll tell you what, I really hope these people know what they're doing or we've got a brand new threat to the world in labs of the US, Europe, and Japan today. Hayabusa touched down on Ryugu and grabbed a sample. It is now returned to Earth. Any of you guys see the movie Life, Ryan Reynolds? Just not loving the idea of potentially alien microbes or even their organic matter on our planet. Now I told you the story gets worse, it gets worse. Folks, there is a bit more chatter about a raging solar cycle afoot. The community consensus and even my polar field analysis had suggested a relatively weak sunspot cycle upcoming. But it's hard to deny some of the other patterns and that we're off to a huge start in this sunspot cycle. True enough, the rapid spike upwards so far will have its downturn and back up and down again as with every cycle, but the proposition of a powerful cycle is the worst case scenario. If instead of at the green dot, the common forecast, we go closer to the purple dot, the forecast of this study, with Earth's weakening magnetic field, no, global grids cannot handle what we average as our maximum impact each cycle. Last cycle, the maximum was less than half of the average max, and it was merely an anomaly. I'll suggest once more, enjoy electricity while you can. We greatly appreciate your support. Remember, we won't lose the global grids this time, even with the double impact, but it's time to watch how our planetary shield reacts. The CME is on its way. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe because we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.